Hey guys, what's up? Adi here uh, with a quick tip from Web Design Tuts. Now, I'm sure most of you have come across uh, some requirements from your clients, um, and they were asking you uh, to make a free trial uh, button or a badge, something that they can use on their landing pages or their pricing tables or uh, somewhere near their products. And uh, this kind of design element is very easy to do and uh, for, for the next couple of minutes I'll show you how to create a very simple one. Uh, so let's fire up Photoshop, create a new file, 500 by 500, background contents is white. Uh, grab the ellipse tool, we're gonna start with a very basic round shape, 150 by 150 something like that. Let's align it, call it base shape. And we're gonna save this as batch tutorial.psd. And double click, select gradient overlay. And let's create a uh, gradient. It's starting from 232, 528. And it goes, it goes to 363A42. Okay, so that's the gradient. Uh, right click, convert to a smart object. So now we can go to filter, noise, add noise, about 2%, uniform, uncheck monochromatic, Okay, and that's it for the base shape. Now let's add some text. Our text free trial, uh, 36 pixels for size, color is going to be a very light green, uh, that's something like E6 FF A6. So Kind of green towards yellow, something like that. All right, let's align it and I'm gonna position it something like something like this. You can play around with it. Uh, next, we need some text, some uh, smaller text that says free for 21 days. Of course, you can input your own text here. Uh, let's use, oops, let's use Helvetica and Helvetica New. Sorry about this. So, Helvetica New, regular, font size about 11 pixels, AA set to smooth and the color should be white. All right. And I'm just gonna move this down by about, oops, by about 10 pixels. Let me zoom in so you can see a bit better. So one, ten. okay, that's good. Uh, next, we need a ribbon. So to make a ribbon, that kind of wraps around the whole uh, uh, badge. Uh, start with a start with the rectangle tool. Draw a rectangle that's about forty pixels in height. Okay. You can also center it. Call it ribbon, and uh, the background color should be CE. 4420. That's a very, uh, a very cool uh, orange. Orange slash red. Uh, let's move this down. Let's position the ribbon. Something like this, I think, should work. Okay, looks pretty good to me. And the uh, the whole wrapping around effect can be done very easily by using uh, the masking tool. Now, 
We can do this by pressing Command or Control and left clicking the base shape to select it and then go to filter uh, select sorry modify expand and we're gonna expand it by three pixels so now select the ribbon layer and just click mask so there we go you see that uh, it kind of gi gives us the illusion that the whole uh, ribbon just wraps around the whole badge so that's exactly what we wanted all right um, so that's the ribbon positioned we need some text on this ribbon something that uh, sounds like start now let's make this a bit smaller like 24 pixels okay and the color should actually be something uh, darker than the background so I'm thinking something like something like this the exact value of the color I used um, is 591C0C so around there somewhere click OK all right so we have all the elements positioned now it's time to add some effects first of all free trial we're gonna give it a letterpress effect so select it double click go to inner shadow and input one distance one size and the opacity should be somewhere around 30 percent something like this or you can play around with it maybe 40 percent if you want uh, kind of a deeper look okay uh, this one uh, will stay exactly the same no effect there and the start now the text uh, is gonna have a drop shadow and untick this one for distance one for size shadow color will be white uh, change the blend mode to normal so we can actually see the white and change the opacity to about 20 percent let's lower it there we go so uh, we got a very nice uh, pressed uh, effect on this text uh, now let's talk about this ribbon for a second because we need to add some effects to it as well first of all inner shadow we're gonna add let's see distance should be about none <laughs> uh, none for choke and size should be about 30 pixels opacity let's lower it to about 20 percent something like this and finally inner glow we're gonna choose a very light um, orange lighter than the background so we're gonna go with uh, let's see ff4800 size bring it down to one pixel so it's very well defined okay so that was it for the effects uh, one last touch right click convert to smart object and go to filter add noise so uh, you can add the same noise as uh, the badge behind it and actually you know you can play around with it make it not so obvious maybe go to 1.5 percent click OK and finally base shape double click and do a drop shadow untick use global light and set this to 90 pixels uh, to 90 degrees sorry distance about 3 size about 30 okay so that was it guys uh, you can use this as 
you know, a badge or a button. I mean, in this shape, you can very well use it as a button because of the uh, start now text. It, it just screams call to action. So you can use it like this or you can use it as a badge, uh, rotate it, you know, make it, uh, you can make it smaller. You can put this uh, next to a product box or a pricing table. Just uh, go crazy with it. Well, that was it for uh, today's uh, quick tip. Hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to subscribe to Web Design Tuts. I'm Adi. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye.